Good morning. Uh, today we discuss how to collect and uh, recover uh, in the national days in China. Definitely, it's much better to prevent the bad days in advance instead of uh, collecting overdue receivables later in a foreign country. You should try your best to, invest to investigate the credit status of your trade partners before you uh, signing contracts, delivering goods, or making uh, the payment. For some transactions with considerable amount, you had better retain uh, local lawyers to thoroughly check the background of them. In case unfortunately you suffer bad debts in China, do not hesitate and lively hope the data will pay you kindly and voluntarily, which will only waste your valuable time to effectively collect the debt. Actually, as far as the international debt collection is concerned, the longer the account receivables lasts, the more difficult to successfully collect it. According to our statistics, the success rate of collecting international debt, which has been overdue for one year, is no more than 60%. And less than 40% for the debt overdue for two years. In addition, the longer the debt lasts, the debt will be more reluctant to pay. Possibly, it's the instinction of human beings so, if you are confronted with bad debt, you should take actions as soon as possible. Obviously, it's a tough job to collect the debt in a foreign country. You need to retain local professionals to help you. Please notice that in China, data collection agencies are prohibited. You have to retain a local qualified lawyer to help you. In China, most lawyers provide legal services on a basis of flat fee. Usually, Chinese lawyers charge a fixed fee in accordance with the regulation issued by judicial and price authorities. Uh, some lawyers uh, would like to uh, charge the clients on a contingency fee basis for some uh, cases with uh, uh, comparatively uh, large amounts. For some lawyers who handle international cases, uh, they could charge uh, the international clients uh, on a basis of hourly rate. Compared to other countries, the lawyer fee in China is not cheap. Additionally, the court fee is much higher than in Western countries. The court charges a certain percentage of the dispute amount, so the credit should consider the potential lawyer fee and the court fee before initiating international commercial litigation. For some small cases, you could entrust the local lawyer to negotiate with the debt. Sometimes compromise is necessary, particularly you yourself have faults in the dispute. The foreign credit could also consider other alternative ways, say, if the case facts is clear and the case evidence is uh, sufficient. You could publicize the case on the internet, hopefully the data will voluntarily pay you, uh, taking into account the, their business uh, reputation. Sure, you should be careful uh, with these measures, otherwise you could be liable for slander. Uh, if the data committed a business scam, you could report the case to Chinese local police and ask them to commence criminal investigation procedure. If the data concerns their possible criminal liabilities, 
hopefully they would voluntarily pay you. And the police could wrap up the case as, a, as an ordinary commercial dispute. If the debtor refused to pay, they are still obligated to return the goods they are cheated and compensate your losses, even if they are sentenced to the jail. Should you decide to take legal actions, you need to first check whether there is arbitration clauses in the contracts. If there exists an effective arbitration clause, you have to submit the case to the agreed arbitration tribunal. If not, you can file a lawsuit against the debt. I strongly recommend you should initiate litigation in China. If you file lawsuits in your own country, even if you get a win judgment, you have to apply to a competent Chinese local court for recognition and enforcement of the judgments, which is inevitably complex and time-consuming. In China, a case will be held the most by two instances, and the judgment delivered by the appeal court will take effect immediately. If the debt refused to perform the effective judgment, you could apply to the trial court first instance for enforcement. Generally speaking, an intellectual commercial case could last one to two years. To sum up, it's far from an easy job to collect the intellectual bad debts in China and foreign creditors should take comprehensive measures and considering the specific facts and the circumstances of the question in question. Uh, thank you all for watching the video. Uh, I'm Charles Shen, the partner of Shanghai Shanghao Law Firm. The channel China Law and the Practice uh, established and maintained uh, personally by me. Uh, the channel will mainly focus on the uh, Chinese legal practice, uh, legal news, and uh, I will uh, discuss uh, some of the latest influential cases. Usually, will, I will uh, deliver a legal speech uh, every week. Uh, so, uh, welcome to my channel, and it's highly appreciated uh, to subscribe subscribe my legal channel, China Law and Practice. Thank you.